Here you can see where do the different skill set apply depending on where a company is in its analytics maturity model. Hey guys, my name is Ali and I am a data analytics manager working in Austin, Norway. In this video, I want to challenge you guys to think about your skill set in a little bit of a different way. Instead of thinking about the skill set that you guys have read over and over, you need to know X, Y, Z. I want you guys to think about what skills are applicable to a company depending on where that company is in its journey to become data driven. The first thing we'll do is we will look at the most mentioned data analyst skills. And then I'm going to show you guys something which is called a data analytics maturity model. And then we're going to take those first skills and we're going to, we're going to apply those to that model. We're going to look at during that maturity model, which a lot of companies are going on, when are these skills actually applicable and relevant for them so that maybe you guys can identify that this skill set is something that a lot of companies are looking for at this moment, depending on where they are in their journey. And then there are other skills that might be relevant for them at a, at a later time. Because just because you are learning a skill doesn't mean that the company is ready to actually take that skill into use because there's a lot of external factors which you really can't you really can't do anything about, which is you know it's data architecture, it is data quality, it is data literacy. There are so many other things that are not really reliant on your skill set, but where the company is in their journey to become data driven. So this is some of the skills that I see mentioned again and again if you want to become a data analyst or if you want to become a data professional. So you got advanced analysis slash machine learning, you got critical thinking, data visualization, Excel, presentation skills, SQL. Some soft skills, some technical skills, a good mixture, but you guys have seen this before. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take these skills and we're gonna apply those to something which is called a data analytics maturity model. And this is a journey which a lot of companies are on right now as they're trying to become more data driven. So let's take a look at that. Now, if you look from the left side towards the right, you will see that there are different phases which companies are going on. So let's start at the left and you can see it says low towards high, which is kind of the complexity which it, it takes to get towards the right side. So starting off, you know, you have enterprise data management, management operational reporting, hindsight. You, you're talking about what happened. We have reports which can, which can tell us what happened yesterday, what happened two weeks ago, what happened one month ago. And then we move on further along the axis, then we're gonna ask why did something happen? And that is where you have more, you know, you're starting to create data warehouses, you're starting to consolidate data, you know, you have visualization, you have you have standardization. A lot of companies are, are working on this today. They wanna to not only be able to understand what happened yesterday, but they want to be able to kind of see the context through visualization, through the, you know, through these, you know, Power BI, Tableau, click tools that can filter, and you can easily, you can ask a question, and then you can, move along, you can filter yourself to, to an answer, and then you can you can ask something else. And then we have, you know, predictive modeling, um, you know, foresight predictiveness, you can see business simulations, predictive analytics, what will happen? And this is what a lot of companies want to do now. You know, data scientists, is about prediction, you know, what is going to happen in the future based on what we have learned from our data previously. And then we kind of have the, the, the pinnacle, we understand what is going to happen, now how can we actually make something happen. This is kind of the journey that a lot of companies are on now. And the skills that we looked at in the previous uh, previous slide are applicable to, to, to this model in different phases. So if we look at the skills, we can start off by advanced analysis and machine learning. And that really becomes applicable um, towards when a company is starting to look at what will happen, how can we make it happen? It's, this is not only technical, this is also something that has to happen as a culture. A company has to be ready to use advanced analysis and machine learning. If you move on to the next skills, then you have critical thinking. And no matter which phase you are in here, you have to be able to be someone who can think critical because that's just some skill, a skill set which you, ha which you have to have. If we look at data visualization, you know, when that comes really into place, when you start the insight phase, you got Microsoft Excel. Also, you know, uh, something that is used a lot to explain what happened because, you know, static reporting, but also when, why did something happen? Because you can use Excel with data sources that have been standardized so you, you can explain why did something happen. So you can definitely use that. And, and, you know, Excel is something you can use across, but let's try and think when do these skills play in um, as kind of a, what can I say, a essential thing to make sure that the company can move through these different phases. You know, we got presentation skills. And no matter which phase you are in, as someone who works with data and needs to communicate with business people, you gotta be able to present it in a way so that they understand what you're doing. Because it's so easy to think that, that the stuff that you work with day in, day out, you are so used to it that you almost forget about the complexity of what you're doing. So you gotta be able to, to communicate that to the business side. Last thing is SQL. 
And I put that halfway on the hindsight because you might not have started to create databases, but you, you might still have some operational reporting and that also goes through um, to, towards the predictive. Now, here you can see where do the different skill set apply depending on where a company is in its analytics maturity model. And because a lot of you guys are trying to get a job, you guys want to break into the industry. What you also have to ask yourself is where are the big mass of companies on this journey? And that is what we're going to try and show you guys now. So you will see that I've placed a smaller dot on the cognitive intelligence and machine learning because that is so far ahead that I, I would say that not a lot of companies are there and are actually using that in their daily business. Then we have some companies who are on their way from the insight phase towards predictive. And once again, this is not only technically, it's not architecturally, it's also the company is mature in terms of, like I said, data literacy, data quality, all these other external things, which has nothing to really do with a, a, a employee and his own skills. Then we have a lot of companies are in this insight phase. They are, they are now starting to use visualization tools. They're starting to standardize. They're starting to, uh, to kind of create you know, good data warehouses. Their data quality is becoming better and better. And then we have some companies who are still lagging behind who, are, who wants to move into the insight phase. And my whole point with this video is that if you want to be a data analyst or data scientist or whatever it is that you're trying to do, it is good that you're trying to learn these skills, but you also have to think about where will I find a bigger target? Because the bigger the target, the more opportunities you have. So when you're thinking about your, your skills, you might want to think about what skills can I learn right now, which are applicable to a lot of other companies or a lot of companies out there. And then how can I grow with that company as it goes along this maturity model? Because if you join a company which is in the insight phase, they are going to eventually move towards the predictive phase. And before you know it, you are also working on predictive analytics. You don't have to join a company that is in their predictive phase. You can join someone who is in their insight phase and then you can grow with it. You have to kind of pick your focus and that is your ace. And then I think you should think about these other skills that as I, I'm not an expert at it, but if I were to be asked to do something about it, at least I know where to go. Um, so if we try to create a pyramid at the end, I think presentation skills and uh, critical thinking is, you know, it's so essential no matter what kind of company you want to join and what you want, you want to join, depending on where they are on, on their journey. SQL, SQL is also very essential and there, there's so many companies out there where you can apply SQL skills and you can really use that in the insight phase and you can also use that in the foresight phase, the predictive phase. Excel data visualization, because a lot of companies are in their, the insight phase, they are still relying on Excel, they're starting to use data visualization or they have started and they wanna use it more. I think that's also something that you guys can learn. Skill set that you need to know as a data analyst, but also a skill set which is good to get good at because it's applicable to a lot of companies out there where they are in their journey. I mean, you can focus on machine learning, you can focus on advanced analysis. There are definitely companies out there who wants you to know that and wants you to learn that and might be ready to use it. But if you're trying to break into the industry, you might wanna focus on somewhere between the insight and the foresight phase. And maybe there are more targets for you in the insight phase. And you might have to accept that as you grow, you can grow into that role, which also knows foresight. So that is a different way to think about your skill set. Maybe it gives you a different perspective on how you should focus your skill set or how you prioritize what you're trying to learn as you're trying to learn more about data analytics, you know, data an analysis or data scientists or whatever it is you're trying to do. I'm just trying to offer you guys or challenge you to think about how you prioritize your skills. It may be a different way to me make sure that you are focusing on the skill um, at the right time, which a lot of companies are open for and ready to use at, at this moment. This is where a lot of the companies are and which skill is it that would make me, you know, be able to join those companies where they are in their journey, then you can grow with as it goes. So it's just me trying to give you guys a different perspective, different way to, to look at it. It is a hard, it's a hard topic. It's a hard, it, this was a hard video, I thought. Um, and I didn't really know how to present it, but I really hope it makes sense. If you guys like, uh, you know, this kind of perspective on it, more the strategic perspective, then feel free to, you know, let me know in the comments. Other than that, um, you know, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more videos on data and analytics, then subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.